Hi, this is Pierce Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So public key cryptography standard number five is used for password-based encryption. So it provides a framework. It doesn't define the format. So an example would be you're adding salt to a password and then hashing it, but it's not defining like how you're implementing the salt and which hashing algorithm you're using. Public key cryptography standard number seven is to sign and encrypt messages in a public key infrastructure and allows for the creation and verification of digital signatures. Public key cryptography standard number 10. That is a standard format used for requesting digital certificates from certificate authorities, which is also another term for a certificate signing request. That's when the entity or end user is requesting a digital certificate, reaches out to the public key infrastructure, and that's a certificate signing request. Public key cryptography standard number 12 is used to bundle a private key with its X.509 certificate or to bundle all the members of a chain of trust. So it's specifying the format for storing and transferring the personal identity information, including private key certificates and other related information. It's used for exporting and importing the certificates and private keys. So it's bundling all that information together into a single encrypted file format. We're gonna take a look at what they mean by a chain of trust and the certificate authority hierarchy. So a certificate authority hierarchy is a structure. Here we can see the root certificate authority and it, it's interconnected with these intermediate certificate authorities. So this is the original certificate authority and then you set up the additional certificate authorities that actually issue the digital certificates. Now in a enterprise environment, a lot of the times you'll see them take the root certificate authority offline uh, because and if it's offline, then it can't be compromised. And when they want to update something, they just place it back on the network. Everything, all the devices recognize this as the root certificate authority. And if you want to update, it can go ahead and push that out. And then they take it back off to secure the system. The root certificate trusts the immediate certificate authorities, and the immediate certificate authorities can issue digital certificates to the end users, servers, devices, or other entities within the public key infrastructure. Um, any device that relies on a digital certificate or performs actions with certificates validation or verification is interacting with the public key infrastructure in some way.